Now it's time to talk about that meteor shower. Our reporter Eric has been talking about this a lot. It's become one of the most popular meteor showers to view in North America during the summer months of July and August. With the peak of the shower just a couple weeks away, meteorologist Christine Gregory got the inside scoop on how the meteor shower came to be and what to expect this year. Whether you're a total science nerd or average sky lover, the Perseid meteor shower has become one of the most well-known and reliable meteor showers to enjoy every summer. Director of the Strassenburg Planetarium, Steve Fentress, told me the event got its name from the constellation Perseus, where the direction of the meteors come from. But you can see them in any part of the sky, and the peak is just a couple weeks away. It always happens around August 12th. And it's usually the most pleasant meteor shower of the year to watch because the weather tends to be nice. And it usually produces a lot of meteors. On a good night, you could get about one meteor per minute. As the Earth orbits the sun at 67,000 miles per hour, it passes through the swarm of particles released by the comet named 109P Swift Tuttle during its numerous returns to the inner solar system. This year, however, there is one very bright celestial object that may prevent you from seeing some of the fainter meteors. On a really dark Perseid night, you might see one meteor every minute or so. With bright, full moonlight, you might be five or ten minutes between meteors. But the ones you do see are going to be the bright ones that might be the spectacular ones, sometimes fireballs with making bright streaks across the sky. While the Perseids are more reliable if you don't have a full moon around, they are still enjoyable if you can get outside. Just sit out a chair between the hours of midnight and dawn and look up. You may be lucky enough to see one of the brighter, more colorful, fiery streaks sail through the night sky. They just won't be as frequent. Reporting in Rochester, Christine Gregory, News 8. And our meteorologists, Christine and Eric, say the best time to watch this meteor shower is between the hours of midnight and dawn. The morning of August 12th will have a peak activity this year. The event will, be, will still be going strong for a week or more on either side of that date.